Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, he reads his first camera. <laughs> Hippie highlights of, of Europe. Put that on a back cover. Tits and ass. Sell books. Hello. Um, oh, where's the camera? Oops. Uh, Silk. Uh, hey, where's Silk? Foxy. Uh, where's the van? With the uh, Capri Blue C. Neptune on the bottom, huh? Oh, the lovely beard he's got, huh? Playing poker on a sunken treasure chest. Gold coins strewn everywhere. You'd like that aquarium. Humpback whale. Watching the door. Security. This is illegal, huh? Underwater poker. Have you ever? Mm -hmm. You'll get busted. Don't try it. Uh, mermaid. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's when he sees it. What is this? A hand-scrawled note from Silk. Um, greetings, Conqueror of India. Uh, we split to Berlin. Uh, yeah, um, it, it, something's happening. Uh, if you know what I mean, uh, we just got to uh, pick up follow up on this Kathmandu connection. Turns out, I didn't know this before, but Foxy, like, uh, she's got uh, a whole complex of squat freaks that want my my balls. My Kathmandu temple balls. And they got a, a squat king, stands tall. He is going to bankroll us. Fly to Kathmandu Bring a bunch of uh, hash balls back to Berlin. We're not talking Berlin or jam donuts here, okay? And we'll make a fortune. <sighs> mm. Um, good luck, Silk. Ooh, uh, a precious adrenaline doesn't go up. No. Um, calm, composed, uh, for a man in the middle of Munich, with naked. He's deeply hurt because they didn't say goodbye. Mm -hmm. He reflects reasonably, oh, yeah, sure, I mean, so bought the whole van, it's his, and he's got his new chick on the side, and she's really, you know, foxy, all right, and, well, he has to take into account uh, her wishes, whims, yeah, uh, yeah, so, uh, this noble attempt to pardon his world travel partners, uh, Fails. Deeply dispirited. Dumped. Hardcore karmic violation. For sure. Well, Pasha. Hmm. He's, uh, yeah, he's been to India. Hello. Um, survival. Mm hmm. He's a survivor. So he calmly assesses his situation. One. Oh, he's still got his passport, driver's checks. A couple dozen hits of that British ass that they're flooding. Operation Julie. Mm hmm. San Francisco chemist. Yes, Sphinx helped them out, lent them a few chemists, and so the Europe could just agree. flood themselves. And since Holland is so used to being flooded, they just pre-flooded everything. Put up a few windmills, joust, ingest, invest in British acid. Well, he's got a, a, a bedspread. 
uh, yeah, mogul peacock, huh? Got kind of a lot of juice on that. And you know, he does not have to fuck around anymore with Silk's silk, satin, and velvet attitude. Yeah, big, big, big hashish dealer. Backstage London. Hit hash at the Isla Wright concert. Uh, that arrogant son of a bitch fucking goddamn English shit needs a... He needs an iron bar up the side of his head, okay? Bash his fucking brains out. Scum dog. Nickel and dime. Moldy. Hashish dealer. Still can't even roll a fucking joint, man. Too much amphetamines. Man. Ooh. Oh, no. They didn't even leave my day pack. Or my clothes. Day pack. Now, Pasha is totally freaking out. In my day pack, souvenirs, bullfrog marijuana coffee house, the beer coasters. They got the bullfrog in the center, marijuana leaves splooshed all around in a circle. And then the, the Milky Way Club, the Del Milk Whack Club, with they got like a, a gift store, racks of postcards of exotic strains of marijuana. Ethiopian Sensi, anybody? And then those were going to be my, in each chapter of the book of the hippest hashish in Europe, and the, they're gone. I'm a photojournalist. They stole my. Emergency pranium. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pasha, huh? Oh, he does yoga. Huh? He meditates, huh? And he just. Emergency pranium. Get centered. 12 deepest cycle breathing exercises. Oh, Shiva Nanda just shouted out all about that shit. Um. <gasps> Yeah. Oh. Well, after a couple of those, dangerously his capillaries go right up the side of his forehead. Uh, right, they're they're forking. Yeah, they're splintering. Yeah, fork capillaries dangerous. Oh. Well, okay. Let me visualize the gurus in the van. Uh, rattling. That's not a good idea because they're rattling in their frames towards uh, Berlin right now. Where are they? They've crossed the Danube River. Don't get the violins out about that because they're halfway to Nuremberg. Oh. Well, went forth. He's got to go so deep. He has to go into his inner Mahatma self and uh, uh, um, hopefully get a, some kind of sophisticated uh, insight from the pure Buddhist land. If you're real good all your life, you can end up in there, huh? Bait, huh? Go to heaven, be good, go to heaven, do what I say, and then you can, yeah, promises are easy, huh? Then you could go up into heaven, huh? You can get a a bugle, hang out with Michael the Archangel, fly around. He does. The insight comes through. And luckily, it doesn't go in one ear and out the other. It gets stuck right there. In his third eye. And this is what the insight says. Score yourself, your all self, a pair of pants, man, and the rest will work out. <laughs> what? Those are not birds flying across. <laughs> those are mosquitoes that wish they were birds.
Because birds eat them, huh? And, and mosquitoes are an easy audience. You know, no matter what you do, you attract them. Just don't wake me up at night when I'm sleeping or... Ah, yeah, you can drill and, and, and drain my blood. Just don't wake me up. That's not fair. Oh, oh, Bardo. Oh, oh, he's so relieved. He has a master plan. Scarp your pants, huh? And then? Oh, well, um, he scans his immediate environment. I mean, that's all he can do. He doesn't have any wheels anymore to go anywhere. And, uh, oh, oh, there's three German bikers uh, leaning against their BMWs, gleaming BMWs, and um, their names Spike, Bruno, and Swastika. Okay, and... Uh, he doesn't think this is a long shot because the Mahatma has downloaded the bling bling into his brain. So he figures his inner higher powers that aren't really separate from himself, they're really him. But mankind has only evolved so far that they like to throw the gods out on some external screen. So you get this I thou relationship. You pray, you beg, you roll in the dirt. You promise to be good. You fuck that up. I'll just get the last rights at the last few minutes and let's, you know, cancel that out. Yeah. So, uh, well, Bardo, huh? Oh, he, uh, he boyishly, you know, using all his, it was his binary charms and uh, uh, he waves to the bikers up. Uh, they ignore him. <laughs>